welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV here in Baskeron's River, where we talk once again with Baskeron because of Sylphic concerns. There was a word while you were away. Sylph has seen a word, but you know, land of their own, no. This was a place near to here. A place we've never known a Sylph to come. Something must have given him cause to venture this far. More than like we're missing Sylph elders among them. Here, I've marked the tract where they were sighted on your map. Go see if there's anything to be seen. Okay, at least a hint. Um, you know Sylph, you're a guardian. Sorry for the interruption to the hunts. It's just best to do these as you level up, uh, or as, as you do the main quest. As it is a bit of a work to do it afterwards. Again. So was there ought to be found rewards? What did you come to? Galleons? In this part of the Twelfth Sword? Huh. First Sylphs and now Galleons, all in the same place. 
It cannot be mere coincidence. Might the Guardians be following the Sylphs? Tracking them or giving chase mayhap? But no, not this far into the forest. The Valer's spires are everywhere. Imperials could never have stolen past them all. How in the bloody hells could they... Unless... Unless someone guided them through. Someone who knew where the spires stand and when the whalers watch. A Gridanian traitor. I'm glad you've come, friend. There's something I want to talk to you about. You know I said I thought we might have a traitor in our midst? Someone as was aiding the Guardians? Well I'm thinking my I'm well I'm thinking I may have identified our suspect. There's a regular of mine who used to dine on thin soup and sip his pint on account of not being able to afford another. But of late he's taken to ordering my best wines as the finest cuts of meat I can lay my hands on. Were he a merchant, I'd probably think nothing of it, but this lad's a wood whaler. And wood whalers don't earn that kind of coin. By chance, I was musing on where the money was coming from when you first told me about the guardians in the forest, and I couldn't help putting two and two together. Suffice it to say, if a whaler's working for the Empire, none of us is safe. The lad I'm talking about goes by the name of Laurentius. Last I heard, he was in the South Shroud. Find him, Desiree. And if he is up to no good, put an end to it, and him, if it comes to that. Can you see him on patrol? Be gone. If you have business with the way, let's go to the barracks. You again? I told you I'm busy with my duties. Now piss off! Long now. <laughs> to think patrol rules and rations would, would fetch such a price. No more than I deserve, though. It is little wonder the Empire has risen to such heights. If only the whalers paid in man their worth. Y you! What did you. How long have you. Help! 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 Please come quickly, my friends. It is I, Laurentius. I'm under attack. How did you... you just... Uh, I know nothing, I was on patrol, he just appeared, I... I thought you were working for the Guardians. Why are you following me? Leave me be. I told you that Galleon just appeared. I know nothing. And an instance battle. Ha! 
How long do you mean to keep this up? What is it you imagine I've done? Enough, enough, I say. It's, it's over then. I, I sold maps and rations to the Empire. It was I. I meant no harm, I only wanted the coin. The whalers are good, strong. I was proud to join their ranks. I'm proud, but they do not provide. They preach justice, honor, duty. But in the end, it's those with money who do as they will, who live as they will. So I sought an opportunity to change my fortunes and took it. All I've done, I've done for money. And then just myself, my home, everything and everyone I love. Why, my actions have put your life in danger too. <laughs> well, you do not yet realize how much. <laughs> Bloody idiot, did you imagine why you had cornered me? It is not I who was cornered. Guardians, I brought the Viera bitch. Permit me a question, if you will. Are all adventurers so deluded as to believe they can challenge the power of Garlemald? You would need a veritable mountain of guild to fund such an endeavor. Such is the cost of fighting great power. Or of making it. Or of remaking it. As we will with Gridania. So that's the way of it. Swapped your heart bunk at the barracks for a feather bed and Garlemald, did you? You there, Vera. You stand here at the old at old busts, which no? Then you don't stand alone. You mean to stand against the might of the Empire with a red belly rabble? Your eyes betray your words, coward. You know full well the way that he ever was fake thing. Yeah, the Red Bellies are a bandit, local bandit group. You actually have fades where you fight them here yeah, in the area. Uh, and, and mobs of their type. Show them what happens to those who oppose the Empire. This is a fight, Basco and once won, then the Troll Claws will fight. How? Why? You scum have no allegiance? So this is to be my end. Dangerous, you're just a HP sponge, just a damage sponge. How? Oh, how's it come to this? Impossible. How did you best the Empire's finest and with bandits and poachers at your side? They are your sworn enemies. Why do I fight with you and not against you? Uh, but I know the answer only too well. Basco on. This is his doing. His words are one to inspire men to act. Better men than I. Gods, what have I become? What have I done? I. I'm sorry. No more will I pursue his folly. No more lies. No more bribes. I will go to the order of a twin adder and confess my crimes. There's something I would like you to tell Basco on. 
Tell them Laurentius so fool says thank you. I feel as though a veil has been lifted from before my eyes. I, Laurentius, confessed to his crimes. I just had word from the twin adder. Seemed he marched straight into the nest and gave himself up. Let's have my lads had quite a life, you know. His mother was killed by a brigand when he was only small. As a young man, he joined the whalers, hoping to spare his fellow Guidanians the misery he'd known growing up. Trouble is, Guidania, protecting Guidania is too big a job for one man, and he came to believe that he couldn't make a difference. But it was hopeless. There are few things more dangerous than desperation, and a man lost in the dark is easily drawn to a glimmer of coin. I reckon he thought that if he couldn't change the lot of his fellow man, he might as well change his own. Thing is, he was making a difference, just not on his own. Somehow, he'd failed to grasp one simple truth, that those things we cannot do alone, we must do together. Huh? He asked you to thank me, did he? Uh, then, there's good in him yet. I just hope them at the end of Adder's nets are able to see it. What he's done ain't easy to forgive, but I'd like to think he'd be afforded a chance to make amends. But let us leave fates to the twelfth. I have other news for you, Desiree. The Sylph Elder has been found. Well. It's taken us a fair old while, but we finally f got our hands on some reliable information concerning the whereabouts of your missing green friend. Um, his name is Frixio, and he's the eldest among the sylphs of Little Solace. Long has he represented his kind in dialogue with the Gridanians. Yes, he's like a bridge between us and them. A small, leafy green bridge that, can't, that we can't find at the moment. And bridges are no use if you don't know where they are. That's why it's so important we find them. There's an abandoned dungeon called the Thousand Moors of Totorak here in the South Shroud. It was by the entrance to the place that Frixie was seen, and not long ago neither. If you hurry, I reckon you'll find him. Walking once! Please help this one! This one needs help! Needs help to help other one! Poor Frixio! Poor, poor Frixio! Whoa, whoa! Hold your chocobos, take a deep breath and tell us what's wrong, nice and slow. Elder one went into Tortorak but had not returned. This one is worried, so very worried. And you're right to be. The place for fair crawls with nesties, waiting to make a meal of anyone daft enough to wander in. What in the seven elves was he thinking entering that bloody death trap? Elder one had no choice. Imperial ones were chasing Elder one. Please. Walking ones must help Elder One. Help Elder One now! <laughs> the fates conspire against us. Forgive my pragmatism, but but Frixie is our best hope to reaching an accord with the Sylphs. Were we to lose him, all our efforts thus far would have been for naught. I will tend to our wounds. Either make haste to the Edison and request assistance. Understood. Des Desiree, go to the Thousand Moors of Totorak and see that Frixio comes to no harm. Peace between man and self rests upon your success. is over here. By order of the Elder Seeds here, the dungeon known as the Thousand Moors of Totorak has been placed under the control of... What? The Sylph Elder is inside? And you're sure of this? How in the seven hells did he manage to sneak by? God strike me down for a pure blind fool! You must find the Sylph Elder before he falls prey to the fiends within. Entrance to Totorak is ordinarily restricted, 
but these are exceptional circumstances. Pray assemble a rescue party and enter as soon as you're ready. With that, we unlock the thousand moors of Tortorak, the next dungeon. But I don't think we enter this today, but the next time. Until then, I'm Mace and don't get lost. <laughs>